Jason Murphy, how did this episode of The Modern Rogue come to be? HelloFresh sent us the delicious meal and they can send it to you too. Go to HelloFresh.com, use promo code MODERNROGUE12, get 12 free meals and free shipping. Keep us in business. On paper, gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel sounds delightful. But then you really gotta soak in scoundrel a little <laughs> bit before you find yourself in a former train car converted into a diesel bus that's been abandoned on your property. It sounded way cooler when you told me about it. Now that we're here, it's just tetanus on wheels. Yes, and... And you're wearing flip-flops. The story I heard was that this was a train car that was commissioned by the Air Force that was used during, like, the Trinity bomb tests. And it's haunted. I mean, look at it and tell me it's not. I'm hungry. <laughs> Today, I went on the internet and I found out the difference between a bum, a tramp, and a hobo. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, is, this, is this like a Facebook quiz? Uh, yeah, which are you? <laughs> <laughs> a hobo, possibly named for being homeward bound, is an itinerant worker who's constantly looking for work, who likes the idea of living life light on the road, on the silver rails, all that stuff. A tramp is somebody who can be made to work, but you might need to give them a little kick in the caboose, so to speak. Yes. And then a bum is... Uh, bum is a bad word, Oh, but every time you've ever heard me say hobo, there's been a little bit of respect in there, is what I want everybody to understand. Uh, yeah, it's a proud tradition, and here we are working some hobo sites. Heck yeah. We're gonna start by eating some Vienna sausage. And the sauce. I mean, you do realize <laughs> I'm just like, dirt, dirt, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I was expecting. But if we're gonna cook Vienna sausages or ramen, we have to have a heating source, right? So let's make a alcohol stove. Go on. Yes, it's alcohol in a stove. Cool. Because I'm a modern rogue. <laughs> All right, how does it work? Okay. By the way, we're only going to be half surprised by what we see here because we did cover it on the TV show. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I thought like, oh, someday I'm going to sit my own bus on my own property. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days. Now let's open yep. up the top of that. Yep. And then place all the contents in that bowl for Brian to uh, snack on. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the can as well, please. All right. What kind of jobs do you think we would do on the road? <laughs> On the, on the road? Door that, yeah, well, I mean, if we're arriving in the silver rails, we're showing up trying to do itinerant work. <sighs> uh, not, not opening not cans. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, do you need any cans opened? <laughs> because we are not the men for you. <laughs> I hate these cans. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. Woo! <laughs> Only took five <laughs> Ma'am, if you have any cans that need to be opened or any Vienna sausages that you need eaten, look <laughs> so far. That's us do. We're, we're, we're great. All right, would somebody like the dangerous job or would uh, you like me to do the uh, dangerous you know, job? That's you, that's you. Is that my knife? Is your name Corey? His knife's name is Corey. A no Fair. would have sufficed. No, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it is not your knife. All right, so what we're doing here that you made a stabby thing, yes, that will bring me comfort. <laughs> this is how it's gonna work. Okay. But what we need is a hole up top to let some air in and some holes in the bottom to let the alcohol flow to the other part. So I'm gonna poke just a couple holes in here. <coughs> There's probably safer ways to do this. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. What well, you know. Hobo life. Fantastic. Wait, you just did like four holes. Yeah. Okay, so you have two holes up top, <coughs> Yep. like you said, and then four around the bottom. Correct. So what we need is a wick around in here. Our goal is to have a reservoir of fuel. Yes. And what we don't want is, I mean, we could just theoretically pour the alcohol in, light it, and then you, you've got a campfire, but then all this gets super hot, tilts over, all this burns down, Correct. looks like this. Fuel right? goes everywhere, also it burns quicker right. that way. Right, what we want is a controlled burn for food cooking. Yes. Right, okay. We need to wrap paper towels around the bottom side of this can. And then, however, it doesn't much matter if it sticks above, 
like let's see here. You put it in, you see that this can right here goes to about that top ridge. Oh, so I we see need to be doing. the wick roughly to the top of that ridge right there. And part of the reason okay. that we want the wick is so that we don't have anything that can spill out. Like yes. if oh, all yeah. the alcohol is in the wick, you could kick this over and still be relatively safe. You could just yep. set it right again. That's Whereas if point. it's liquid, then all of a sudden the train Absolutely. car is on fire. I feel a lot better about this. So who wants to wrap? I, I, I... <sighs> now this here's a story all about how my... <laughs> all right. So what we want is a mushy wick. Like, would that do? Let's give it a shot. Or is that too high? No, the height doesn't matter because the wick will just burn off. So oh, got it, got it, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So it may be burned yellow for a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use a screwdriver. Tuck it in just a little bit. But if there's any excess sticking over, it's gonna burn off just like a candle wick. Right, and this is similar. This goes back to the fire eating experience where it's like whatever is frayed will go away because it'll mm. burn. What you want is the fuel to burn, not the not cotton. The material. Not the wicking. Now we need the fuel. Okay. Yep booze the plastic bottle that's how you know it's got class you know it's classy when it refuses to say what type of alcohol it is right. and only says the word alcohol <laughs> great <laughs> which i assume is deadly yes. <laughs> so how much do we want to put in here as much as you'd like Fill it to the top oh dear okay right now you could see it you you could see it absorbing into the fabric mm -hmm. It also depends on how long you want this to last. You could actually have the alcohol up a fair amount of ways inside of the middle of the can. For this purpose, all we're gonna do is saturate the wick enough to make it where, uh, as soon as you start to see all the wick turn moist. Yeah, okay, so right now it's sort of pooled up at the bottom. I assume capillary action, eventually it'll get all the way to the top here? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Now, you were saying that these flames would likely be close to invisible. Yes. So you Once, do want to be careful because you could correct. be burning and not know it. Until it's depending on the fuel you use, right? So if you use like gasoline, which I don't uh, recommend for cooking, uh, but that's going to burn real yellow. This mm -hmm. will probably burn yellow for a second as we burn off the mm -hmm. little pieces of the wick. Right. right. But you do have to be careful because you're not going to know if you've got it on you. Correct. And suddenly uh, you could be burned by invisible flames. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything but the lighter. Right on the inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, you might want to set it down. Why, what do you, why do we have this if you're not going to use this? Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. You have to shake this. Oh, that's it, baby. So yeah, we definitely see the outside wicking going. Why do we drill the holes? To let a little air in so that way the fuel can soak through so it won't create a vacuum when it's set a pot but on meanwhile, top. Meanwhile, it will be burning on the outside. Oh. Yes. Yes. This design right here is meant for a pot. Got it. There you go. Okay. So that's like one that, of the right? holes. Yeah. Like yeah. you said. Go, okay. uh, 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 water? Yep. Let's do it. I forgot the water, so nope. we're just going to use alcohol. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and that nice. looks That's a, really effective. Yeah. It's almost hot dog time. Oh, we're doing ramen. Never mind. <clears throat> First of all. Oh, you, old pro. Yeah. Right? Pro technique. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Grab some of those, toss, uh, yep. A little bit of whatever this is. The whole thing? Uh, uh, no? Gen just gently. Oh, I got it. Yep. yep. I got it. Oh, now we have to tell a ghost story mm -hmm. of what happened in Poughkeepsie, New York one time. Mm. Is it seance time? Hobo bus seance? My new Twitch stream? <laughs> Hobo bus seance? <laughs> yep. Man, I know I've murdered some hot dogs out here. Mm. Do you come out to the bus to eat hot dogs? Because <laughs> no. that's weird. No, not that. I mean, not to eat his own. Just a Are you just shame eating hot dogs <laughs> in the bus? <laughs> Nobody loves me! <laughs> <laughs> or even worse, he doesn't eat them, he says, nobody loves you! <laughs> he just punches the hot dogs until they mush. <laughs> okay, the three of us, riding the silver rails, homeward bound, getting our work on. What kind of work do you want to do? <sighs> Game development. No! That's not... <laughs> okay. Screenwriter. Oh, by the way, we're boiling. That was three minutes and wow. 18 seconds. And this is edible, and actually it looks pretty good. 
Mm, yeah. Korean? Mm -hmm. You're about to lose your beard again. <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, yeah. Dude, that's a fine stove. Right? I didn't expect that's... it to work so effectively so fast. That's why I love this design over ah! Sorry, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. We're, it was just, we're, just... Like a, we're like a silver screen three stooges act. <laughs> You're like, oh, yang, 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 yang. No, no. All right, listen up, boys. We got to eat this ramen. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Oh there you go, baby bird. It's boiling like crazy. Yeah, we're good. We did oh, it. Oh, my God. How do you, how do you stop it? <laughs> uh, you don't. This, it burns forever. Typically what you do is you turn your pot upside down over it when you were done eating. Or if you have another can, you, you know, uh, another. Oh, be careful. Yep, yep. Do we need to get the grenade? You think it's, you think it's out, it's Doctor? Oh, oh yeah, we're out. See? Look at that! Hey! We're hobos! Yay! We're <laughs> homeward bound! <laughs> Scoundrels on the road! All right, now I will take a bite of that. That right, looks so delicious. Wait. wait. It's hot. Does it pass the brushwood test? I, I don't what even is want is to Is there think. a test? I, I was about to say, I, I'm trying to consider just how low that... <laughs> You're talking about a dude who gets home past midnight, opens up a can of lukewarm beef stew, pours in some Cheetos, and decides that's a meal. Cheetos? That's a good idea, actually. It does pass the brushwood <laughs> test. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hello, fresh. Let's eat some Italian food we can't uh, pronounce. Yeah, what are we making? Chicken sausage cavatappi bolognese. Okay, great. And this comes to us from our friends over at HelloFresh. If you've been living under a rock, then maybe you're just now finding out that HelloFresh sends you premium ingredients, makes it easy for you to cook and feel like a badass and create healthy, happy meals. Oh, I think we might need to bleep out a word I just said. It's probably trademarked. Oh. <laughs> I had to go back and replay it. <laughs> okay, so uh, we, we have ingredients. Uh, we got some noodles. We got some, uh, we got zucchini. Mm -hmm. uh, we should probably read the instructions. That's literally oh. what they do for us. Sweet Italian chicken sausage mix. Uh, sausage. Sausage. It is sausage. <laughs> Nine ounces Italian chicken sausage mix. throw everything out here. I don't know why I'm pretending. Just do it, to, just do yeah, it. This is, this, I didn't like that one anyway. Nope. No, uh, we, got, we got another one in there, I think. One tablespoon Italian seasoning. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Right over here. There it yep. is. Got it. Nine ounces Italian so uh, chicken sausage mix. Oh, my goodness. If only they would already measure that for us. Yeah. They, in fact, they did. Oh, uh, oh, this is the uh, chicken stock concentrate. Yep, yep. Quarter cup Parmesan. Yep. One yellow onion. Yep, yep. Uh, six ounces cavatappi pasta. As a matter of fact, that's what that is. 1.5 ounces tomato paste right tomato there. Tomato paste, there it is. Two Got it. Two tablespoons sour cream. Why do they always come in these weird little packets? Uh, 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 you know what? Um, you don't even like sour cream. No, I don't. Cool. All right. Well, then. Should I pull a Brian? I think I'm going to pull a Brian. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. That's good. While you were doing that, That's I've already cream. prepared the zucchini. That's way too much sour cream. <laughs> You win, man. I'm never doing that again. God. Boy, people got really upset in the past uh, with my onion handling. And yeah. I, I would like to apologize to everyone. Th this is in real life how I normally would deal with an onion. I would, I would cut off whatever that base is right there. Mm -hmm. And then um, I, I would cut off, because I'm lazy, the, the, the top part here. And then I would, all of the onion skin and yep. all that, I would just kind of roll it a little bit. I don't know if that's the right way or not. Uh, I, I imagine Gordon Ramsay's yelling at me already. Me and Annalise are definitely yelling at him. <laughs> we, I, I, we don't even need a famous chef. We have, we have normal people. But that's what's great about HelloFresh is they make it so easy even a, a Brian could do it. Get that sausage in there. All right. Hey, 
Dude, look at that. Oh, there it is. Gentle, gentle. Ooh, like we know what we're doing. Every time we do HelloFresh, it actually makes me feel like I can cook. I know. It's like, um, it's a talent simulator. <laughs> <laughs> they are super flexible. I like that I can pause for a week or add some extra protein. They've got all these pescatarian, vegetarian, uh, carb friendly, all sorts of different options that you can choose from if you want a healthier lifestyle. But the most important part is that you keep our show in business, plus you get 12 free meals over the first four boxes that you get if you head on over to hellofresh.com, use promo code MODERNROAD12. Mm, do it. Offer and link in the description below. What else would you eat on a, a old abandoned bus other than ramen? Uh, Rats. Rust orphans. <laughs> Maybe this time not rusty ramen? Roaches. Rusty rats. Hmm. Yeah, rusty ramen. <laughs> You're ready. You're building up an immunity for this moment. I don't like how on the nose this is. I'm feeling judged. Screw both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs>